Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome back to Robocop Rogue City. We finally got a provable connection between Antonovsky and OCP. The problem of course is that since the police are owned and funded by OCP and the precinct house is being run by Becker, an OCP executive, it's extremely unlikely that we're going to be allowed to do anything about it. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park, but between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So let's see how you did. Time for my evaluation. So let's see how we did. XP please. Complete all main objectives. All of the secondary objectives is looking good. Failed two investigations. Didn't find Biggs's squad car or all of the stolen OCP chests. And of course we lost, by one kill, the efficiency challenge against Ed 209. So that's a B rating. But it's nearly 2,500 XP and it's for much needed skill points. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion? As usual, there's a bunch of side quests to be completed here in the precinct house before we head out on our main investigation. I'm not going to show you all of them, but there's, there's one at least that's worthy of uh, checking out. Also, what's this? Facts from Baby Maid. They want Robocop to be the face of Baby Maid. Ugh, advertising. Okay. Um, and also in the background there you can see the wreckage which is being analysed of the defective ED-209 that turned on us but we can salvage the PCB and incorporate it into our Beretta Auto 9. So we got four skill points to spend and a new motherboard for our handgun. So first things first, skill points. I've maxed out armour. I'm kind of liking deduction because it increases the amount of experience that you gain as well as other things like giving you an enhanced map. Um, that shows the location of useful stuff. Although you only get the 30% more experience points once you max it out at 10 points. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. Psychology is useful, but mostly just in conversation options. Um, it'll give you different options the higher your psychology skill. And it's not exactly essential. Scanning increases the range at which you detect evidence uh, and also allows you to do that thing that Robocop did in the original movie where he could uh, there was a bad guy taking cover behind a hostage and he just bounced a bullet off the wall behind him and took him out with that focus is mostly about slow motion engineering is very useful um, the bonuses that you get from the chips that you slot into the Beretta's motherboard are increased with every point that you spend in engineering vitality extra hit points allows you to heal from fuse boxes and if you max it out you will automatically recover health up to 75 percent which is really good but i kind of think that i i really need to start doing more damage and with four points i can activate a reloading strike so anytime i score a melee hit it automatically reloads any carried weapons now then for the motherboard I'm at least not still using the default sort of tutorial motherboard, uh, which you get for free. Uh, I have actually picked up another two intermediate motherboards, and they're all right. But let's take a look at the tier 3.2 motherboard that I just picked up from the defective ED209. Straight away I'm seeing that this thing has the potential to be extremely nice. Automatic ammo feeder. Never need to reload. More blood and gore and pellet rounds. Some rounds may split, dealing more damage at a short range. Okay, so a number of you pointed out, and if you hadn't pointed out in the comments of previous videos, I would never have figured it out for myself, that you don't need to make precise matches with these chips. You simply have to ensure that the output on the chip goes to the things that you want and doesn't go to the things that you don't want. Here, for example, one of my highest percentage chips, this 15% chip that I'm slotting into the accuracy uh, button, I suppose you'd call it. It's not leading to the right to get the increased blood and gore, but I mean, that's purely a cosmetic thing. I can live without it. 
I've got another 14% here that I can slot into this position here to give me even better weapon accuracy. And now what I'm going to need is a dead end chip in order to get some increased weapon damage here without also going to the two negative modifiers that lead from it. Now we need to figure out a way of getting to the unlimited ammo, which means I don't actually need the reload thing here because who cares about reload speed when you never have to reload. So I'm going to need a pass through chip to make the next connection on the right. And yes, I know there's a 17% available and I picked a 13% anyway. Don't worry, there's a method to my madness. Dead end there to get even more accuracy without leading to the negative modifier. And I'm going to need a dead end here as well. Ah, I'm going to need a dead end that feeds in from below. Actually, I won't need a dead end. Since I don't have one, I'm going to need an L shape that feeds to the right. There we go. More increased weapon damage and the pellet rounds. And now I'm going to need one pass through to lead to the automatic ammo feeder without going up. And that's what I'm saving this 17% for. So with this motherboard, I now never have to reload my sidearm. It's got 12% increased magazine capacity, which I really don't care about. Uh, but it's now 44% more accurate and does 54% more damage. So not bad. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are always some side missions available whenever you return to the police precinct house between missions. And you absolutely should do them because they're basically free experience. I'm not going to show you them all today, but there are two that are worth seeing. Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? And this is one of them. First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. As I was writing it, I'd noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? There are plenty of places to improve. That's actually something I wanted to ask you about. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. It's shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. You want to go now? <laughs> yeah, great, let's go. So it turns out that the kid, who's not a bad kid, but he's probably never handled a weapon in his life, and he was only hired by Becker, basically to rat on me. I love the smell of this room. Should we start? First, I want to watch you practice. Now remember, I've just installed a new motherboard in this gun that's supposed to improve the accuracy by, I think it was 44%. Watch and weep. I mean, some of this is me, but some of it isn't. Can... Can I it now? I, I can't help myself. That was awesome. We are not done yet. Right. This has to be some sort of rat. It is not. Some of those early shots were terrible, but the later ones were right centre of mass. And the targets are just not going down. Remember, this is 44% improved accuracy, kids. I took so many notes. Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, uh, so that's the actual lesson. Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. There you go. Now let's try out the weapon that Washington was issued. I think it's a SIG P226, I'm not entirely sure. And they're decent pistols, but the one that Washington was given has been tampered with. Huh. Is everything okay? That is atrocious. Your service weapon is broken. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. Did you try it shooting beyond it? Beyond repair, they must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. Somebody's trying to get him killed. A cop must be ready. Get a different gun. Sure. Thank you, Robo. That goes way beyond simply hazing the new guy. 
somebody, probably Officer Step, is trying to get the kid killed. Of course, if he'd ever bothered to actually train with the weapon, he would have known. Ah, there's my favourite law enforcement officer. Hey, Pickles. Fancy seeing you here of all places. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is resourceful. Why, thank you. I try very hard to not try at all. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy. Pickles, the junkie and police informant that Officer Briggs was trying to help. I mean, Pickles is basically a good guy, he's just a junkie. But he is a useful informant, and his heart's in the right place. Thanks to Robocop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow, that's even more messed up. Why would he need them? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! So, the vultures are robbing OCP's bank. Sounds like they've had a bit of a falling out with Antonovsky. Isn't that a shame? Oh, look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. Yeah, that's right, Sunshine. I go where I want. Oh, hello. Samantha Ortiz, the journalist. What's she doing here? Oh, great job on perimeter security, SWAT. She just walks right in through the front door in the middle of an active crime scene. Great job. Looks like you need my help more than you think. With this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. So, this is another efficiency challenge. You remember how Ed209 beat me by one kill right at the end? That's not going to happen here. I'm going to get my ass handed to me. <laughs> 
despite an early lead, uh, these SWAT guys are really good. And I'm not. At one point, I just give up and I let them get on with it. They, they honestly don't need me. I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, you know what it's traditionally like in first-person shootings? Call of Duty being a particular culprit where this sort of thing's concerned, where they try to give you the impression that you're part of the big battle, right? Where your platoon or squad or whatever it is, you're all charging forward, guns blazing, laying down suppressive fire, moving from cover to cover. But if you ever actually stop to pay attention to what's going on, you know, next time you're playing a Call of Duty campaign or something like that, where something like this is going on, just stop what you're doing for a minute, get yourself somewhere safe, just sit back and pay attention to what's actually happening. Because unless you're the one shooting, nobody's getting killed. It, it can be quite comical in some cases. Oh, entrance clear, okay. Open the gate for the ED-209 units. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Um, okay. But, yeah, in a traditional first-person shooter, when you're taking part in this big team assault like this, um, unless you're actually shooting bad guys, no bad guys are dying. It can be pretty comical watching people blazing away at each other, non-player characters, that is, blazing away at each other at point-blank range and doing nothing <laughs> until you actively take a hand. They do a good job of making you think that you're taking part in a big combined arms assault. But if you actually stop to pay attention, you're not. But, hello. Is there a problem, citizen? <laughs> okay, right, yeah. In case you're wondering, by the way, I know exactly where the switch is to open the doors and let the ED-209 units in. I'm just not pressing it. I'm looking around for stuff that I might have missed. But I will get to it in a moment. Uh, the point, of course, here being that this is not a traditional first-person shooter. These SWAT guys are entirely capable of clearing this bank without my help. Anyway, let's get those shutters open. Although I'm fairly sure that the ED 209s could make it through some drop down shutters if they wanted to without my help, but let's get the shutters open and see where we go from here. Oh, hello, I did find something. I knew it was worth looking around. What's that? Oh! My property. Officer Alex Murphy. What's that doing here? It's been years since Alex died. Oh well, I'm not sure what the point is, um, but as always, oh, and a training disc, an extra skill point, ha ha ha, you see, always worth taking a look around. Don't be in any rush when you're playing this game to get the objectives done. However, now I do need to get the objectives done, so I'm going to open the gate and let the, um, the ED 209s in, who are absolutely definitely not going to run amok and kill everybody this time. Honest. Oh, hang on a minute. Skill point. Yeah, let's uh, let's sort that out first before we go any further. Uh, where are we going to put it? You know what? I'd like some more hit points. It's only 5%, but it's a start. All right, let's hope this doesn't go horribly wrong. they all come from? We just cleared the lobby. Oh, and we're still in the... Oh, <laughs> did you see the Ed 209 who fell down the stairs? They weren't even stairs, it was just a couple of steps. Uh, some things never... Oh, shit. Okay. Fine. I don't know if that was them or the Ed 209, but whatever. The efficiency assessment is still going on, by the way. And OCP are way ahead of me. And of course, with three Ed 209s getting involved, I mean, I'm doing my best. My best isn't particularly good, and I've got no chance. They are storming ahead. They've almost got double the number of kills that I have. Still, at least they're on my side. For 
Dang, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. You now have 15 seconds to comply. You now have... There's an armored gate in lockdown mode in front of you. Find a way to get past it. Try finding the weakest spot in the wall around the gate and breach through that. You notice how they're all stuck at the bottom of the stairs because they can't take the elevator. Oh, this looks like my breach point. Well, there's a fuse box over there. Not that I need it. Back up to 100%. I've got three of three. Uh, recovery charges. Before I breach through, again, there's no sense in rushing things. The objective isn't going anywhere. Let's have a look around. Because let's not forget where we are. This is an OCP bank. There's going to be evidence of all kinds of financial malfeasance lying around here. If I can just find it. Anything back here? Elevate the bank. That's the uh, walkway that got blown up as I try to get across. Oh, that Really, that Ed 209. I must say, I do find this awfully inconsistent. I mean, I know that Ed 209's biggest enemy is a staircase, but did that thing really just knock itself out by tripping down a couple of steps? You remember the trouble that thing gave me in the previous episode? <laughs> I feel like I should be asking for a refund. All right, anyway, no evidence of any crimes around here at least, so let's go up and breach. Need to get that shutter open. Not sure why. Because if that's for Ed 209. Oh, bad guys. Oh, no, SWAT. SWAT and bad guys. Wait a minute. If. If SWAT are already here, why do they need me to open the shutter? You know what? This is the part of the game where it really doesn't pay to stop and ask too many questions. Just go with it. I mean, they are so far ahead now, there is no chance I'm going to win this efficiency assessment. So I'm just going to let them do their thing while I look for evidence. These SWAT guys are basically Terminators. It's in here. Yeah, recovery charges. This is no good. I'm looking for evidence of financial misdoings. This is no CP bank, there's got to be something here. Look at these guys go. I don't know if it's possible to inflict friendly fire. And I really don't want to find out, so I'm being particularly careful with the few shots that I am trying to make. But I mean, they've killed everything. Yep, lost the efficiency challenge, confirmed. And now they're all having a good gloat about it. Uh, fair enough. Right, reach the manager's office. I'm really disappointed I haven't found any evidence of any financial misdeeds. I mean, if you can't find evidence of financial crime in an OCP bank, then where the hell are you going to find it? Oh well, it is what it is. Let's get to the manager's office. Robocop, I've received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Evidence! I knew there'd be something here. Incriminating documents. Anything else? Where does this go? Huh. Nothing in these cubicles. Oh, there's something here. And, oh, it... So there she is. You know what, let's grab this first. She's not in a rush to go anywhere. Letter to be framed. Blah, blah, blah. 25 years of service to the... Yeah, fine, whatever. Oh, that was enough to get me a new skill point. Okay, let's get that spent and then we'll go and confront our journalist friend. There we go. I can now recover health from fuse boxes. This is nice. Also, 10% bonus health. Anyway, plot. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit. A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. 
Do you believe the commercials? I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. You can go. But if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. And then, uphold the law. Yep, she's in the act of committing the crime, but she's serving the public trust and she's protecting the innocent. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would probably ask for that switch to be installed somewhere around my desk. And two out of three isn't bad. Alright, that's the side corridor that I unlocked earlier. And that is locked. So that's what I need to press this button for. Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. I wish the rest of the cops would cut Washington some slack. I mean, yeah, he was hired as a rat, but he's a good kid. His heart's in the right place. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard-earned savings. We're opening this vault with or without your help, you old nut job. Uh, what is this intricate... Shut my fucking hand up! Robocop! I knew our founder would send his best! We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive. I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. <laughs> you can see why he's the bank manager, can't you? <laughs> an opportunity for an ambitious officer. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, I, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but... Just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping... Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule, call qualified personnel. Oh, no. Okay. Tell me what you see. Right, let's take a look. Bunch of batteries. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. Some kind of fuse panel? Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. No idea what they are. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. And the explosive itself? It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect. Okay, so they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. You're not proving to be much use to us alive, are you, kid? There is one way to be sure. I will safely detonate the bomb. So, you could have done that straight away? I thought you may learn something here. 
Yeah, as long as you have at least four points in the armor skill, you can just, well, do this. Pretty sure that much C4 would have generated a slightly larger explosion, and anybody in the same room when it went off wouldn't be talking about it, but whatever. It was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Because I need to make a withdrawal. Like, now. I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. Now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. All right, that, that doesn't look good, but the vultures didn't steal it. They couldn't get in. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Bottles? Back with the money in the next... We're leaving. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, the, the vultures didn't make off with OCP's money. They couldn't get through the vault door. The bank vault was empty before the vultures got here to try to steal it. The whole reason the vultures were trying to rip the bank off in the first place was because they were working with Antonovsky. Um, basically stealing a bunch of bodies for him with brains intact and keeping them on ice. But then Antonovsky stiffed them and didn't pay them for the job. So Spike, the leader of the Vulture gang, organised this bank heist. But what Spike doesn't appear to realise is that all of his boys who were heading back to the rendezvous point and the getaway vehicles through these tunnels are coming back empty-handed because there was never any money in the bank in the first place. So Spike's going to have a very nasty surprise. Actually, you're going to have two very nasty surprises. Because I'm going to get it. Come on, 44% improved accuracy, kids, remember. <laughs> oh. Oh my. I mean, yeah, some of it's me. But not everything. I mean, yeah. It's not going to come as a great surprise to anybody if I were to confess to just generally being kind of bad at first-person shooters, but some of these shots are right in centre of mass. And absolutely nothing's happening. What is that? You ain't me. Good. You're out of the bank already? I am in pursuit of the remaining fighters. I have followed them in the So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. I think one of these guys either has a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher, because that was hitting really hard. Aha! Uh -huh. I can use these things now to recover up to 50% of my health. Saves using recovery charges. Also, the more points you put into vitality, the more recovery charges you can actually carry in the first place. I think it tops out at five. Better than the two you start off with. Or is it three? Anyway, you can carry more. Right, nothing else around here. Actually, you start off with three, don't you? But you can eventually get it up to five. Oh, hello. Oh, did you see that? I didn't even shoot the third guy, but he went down anyway. And that wasn't because I was aiming at the second guy and missed. Um, with your armor maxed out, small caliber rounds fired at you. We've got a chance of ricocheting off and striking your attackers. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened there. A quick word about the enemy AI. Because it's not really very good. And you, the thing is, you don't really notice it until you get a situation like this where there's only one kind of enemy facing you. 
those bikers, because all they do is just ride around in circles along the pre-planned routes and spray with SMGs. And you only notice it when it's just them. There's a deserted warehouse nearby. It's the only building with street access in the area, and it's big enough to store their vehicle. It's your best bet to proceed there. Right. It's just these bikers, really, though. I mean, the AI isn't really any worse than in many other first-person shooters. I mean, the regular grunts, they have a... Their AI is pretty simple, but they do have the ability to do more than one thing. Some of them will stand there and shoot at you. Some of them will duck in the cover. Some of them will throw grenades. These guys, though, they do one thing. And it's painfully obvious. If they just mix these guys up with a couple of the regular grunts, you know, the ones that actually do something other than just drive around in circles. It wouldn't have been nearly as noticeable. Unfortunately, they didn't. There's all kinds of tricks that you can employ to make people think that the opponents are actually smarter than they are. Half-Life was particularly famous for the AI of the mercenaries. And all they did was employ the simple trick of allowing you to listen into their radio channels. I mean, the grunts in Half-Life, they did have better than average AI. If you ducked in behind cover, they would try to flush you out with grenades and things like that. But their AI wasn't that impressive. What made it seem impressive was that the game gave you the ability to listen in onto their voice comms while they were trying to take you down. So you didn't have to be paying attention too much to what the AI was doing. You could hear what the AI was doing or what they were planning to do. That's what made it... Really? <laughs> it's not the first time I've seen something like that in this game. And it probably won't be the last. But this is fine. Nothing in here. Doesn't look like it. Oh wait, there's something. Is that a recovery charge? Oh, yeah. I'm down to two. May as well pick it up. Doesn't look like there's anything else other than possibly the big showdown with Spike, the Street Vulture leader. Let's go for it. Oh yeah, this room's full of bad guys. You see, this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. If, even if... if the AI is actually kind of basic. You can make it seem good just by employing a mix of enemies to and a mix of different things. The only reason I noticed how bad the AI on the bikers was was because there was nothing there but bikers and they were all doing exactly the same thing. But this, this works. And none of them are doing anything particularly complicated. But because there's so many of them and they're not all doing the same thing at the same time, you feel like you're in a good place. I should probably have taken that leader down first. <laughs> Who've we got left? Oh, there's just a couple of them. That's it, that's it. Yep, I know there's more. Not quite them. I think, yeah, they're above me. More than count one. One left. Where is he? Oh. <laughs> hey. I'll take it. Oh, there is another one. There he is. Gotcha. Right. Let's grab that spare recovery charge. Oh, Spike's not here. He's on the radio. All right, let's have a look around for evidence first. No sense in rushing the objective when I'm not under attack. There we go. All kinds of good stuff. This is all worth XP and it all adds up pretty quickly. Right, let's advance the plot. I am listening, Creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us, so now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. I thought we were going to get to arrest Spike. 
again after he gave us the slip at the old steel mill thanks to a little interruption from an ED209 unit. But hey, at least we saved all of OCP's money. Yay! Even though there was never any money in the bank in the first place, which is a bit of a mystery. So, now what? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't celebrate just yet, guys. <laughs> there is no money. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Doctor Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. So, the plot thickens, the mystery deepens. What the hell is going on at OCP? The biggest corporation in America seems to have just run out of money, and they're the ones paying for the police. This can never end well. Join me in the next episode, and maybe we'll see just how far down the rabbit hole this mystery goes. In the meantime, idea. hope you're all He's having a great weekend, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.